Welcome to part two out of four in this four part series of showcases of Norma Villalta for the Noble Shoe. Today we're going to talk about this, which is a full brogue Adelaide Oxford, one of my favorite styles of shoes. And this is a bit of a more classic shoe with a bit of a twist that we produced with Norman Villalta and I cannot wait to show it to you. So without further ado, let's go to the close-up. And now let's begin the close-up of one of my favorite styles of shoes, the Adelaide Oxford or how Norman calls it the full brogue Adelaide Oxford. And we say that because this has a pantsed brogued cap toe and of course the U-throat, the famous U-throat here design, which is a bit sharper because it has taken and received the Norman treatment, uh, which extends all the way to the back. Of course, there's no back seam again like this. Instead, the panels are stitched to the rest of the shoe. Uh, there is no medallion either. And this is a classic Oxford with five eyelets and of course a closed lacing system. And this one is on a really nice hand-painted full grain crust calf. And as you can see, the patina is exclusive for the Noble Shoe. Uh, it's uh, the first time that Norman did something like this. And this one is a bit of a mid-brown with some lighter undertones and burnished edges around the seams. And I think the result ended up really, really nice course on the soft square last which I showed you as well before and there, is, there are some nice details around the shoe such as the heel such as the, the wheel around here and of course the finishing around the edges of the sole uh, even right here with uh, a bit of fudging and uh, the, the indents that you can create very nice attention to detail uh, it's as close as cut to the uppers as possible uh, everything is trimmed very very nicely and even the heel has a slight pitch to it, as you can see. And uh, I think it gives it a more elegant look. Uh, checking the balance of the shoe, again, very important. Uh, you can see, very, very good. So th those are little details that uh, have been taken care of. And overall, a very nice design, a very nice shoe. As you see, uh, from all angles, top down, side, very very nice very versatile and I'm very pleased how this ended up you can see it in close detail as well of course as always it comes with free shoe trees so now that we're done let's move on and this was the close-up for the Adelaide Oxford I really like this model I really like the curves it has I really like the last which is again the Norman Villalta soft square I really like some of the design choices. For example, there is a bit of the U throat of the Adelaide is quite, you know, hard to change. There are a few variations, but this reminds me a bit of a, of an anchor. And uh, I really liked the heel at the back and the details. And uh, some of them are symmetric, some are geometrical. It uh, it is a very interesting taste. And uh, having been in the workshop of Norman, it is. Also very interesting to see how he gets inspiration about all this and I need to remind you how difficult it is to find inspiration and produce a brand in such a saturated industry that has such a unique identity. I also like uh, how the color ended up. We were quite unsure about how it would end up because uh, this, was, this was never done before by Norman. I just showed him some uh, colors and he produced a special patina, this one, for the shop. And as far as availability, you will generally see, like the other uh, shoe models, that they are about the 1,100, 1,150 maybe US dollars, depending on exchange rate. And of course, it comes with lasted shoe trees, uh, which you can see here. And all the finishing, immaculate, uh, very good laces, very good packaging, free international shipping. And this model should be ready to ship around, I would say, end of November, beginning of December 2022. Of course, limited sizes, as always. When they're gone, they're gone because this is an exclusive drop, uh, limited seasonal capsule drop. And as far as sizing, the same thing as the Tete. You will see that with the other models as well. They run quite true to size, so I would recommend you to take your regular St. Crispins, Carmina Rain, TLB Mallorca, and uh, etc. Or size down half from your Gaziana Gearling, 
uh, usually a dollar green, and one full size from your US size if you were Allen Edmonds. So for example, are you a UK 8? You would take a UK 8. You're, are you a US 9D? You would take again a UK 8. For all questions, uh, please contact me at info at .com or simply leave a comment or reach out to my social network. I'm very quick to reply. And this was it. This was the Adelaide Oxford. We still have two more to go. Uh, as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and especially for this model or the previous ones or anything you have on your mind. And I'll see you next time, but first we have a bad dad joke of the week. So, how do you call a wizard that fell down the stairs? But Dumbledore, of course. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.